What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and today I'm back with an outfit tutorial using the SP to MP glitch. Uh, if you guys want to look at it as the DM glitch or the DM outfit, you can go ahead and look at it that way. But we are using the SP to MP glitch to make this outfit. It's the orange trash man with orange race gloves and race boots. Alright, and a Tron helmet just to top it off and a duffel bag. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty cool outfit. Uh, I made it and I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So here we go uh, Let's start it off by actually going over to our male character now You want to clean up all your outfits first of all uh, Anybody that's been merging already you're gonna have to do all these steps I'd recommend taking off all accessories and uh, body armor so helmets glasses uh, Things like that just take them all off duffel bags transfer uh, some body armors don't so I recommend just taking all of them off if you see body armors on mine It's because I know that they transfer because I've done it before but just to be safe take off all body armors and all accessories and Save the outfit that you want to make the orange trash man outfit in in the last slot All right, save that outfit slot in the last slot that you have. Okay. I have joggers in my last slot That was a mistake. You just want to put on any outfit any outfit at all just you know anything on the last slot just have it ready to go and go ahead and switch over to your female character now we're there on the female character you want to go ahead and these are the things you're gonna need to make the trash man outfit that you see in the thumbnail and at the beginning of the video so you're gonna go ahead and go down to tuck t-shirts tuck t-shirts you're gonna need this black classic okay the black classic t-shirt is what you're gonna be going for uh, that's gonna give us the orange trash man suit, but you do have to have a jacket on as well The red puffer jacket doesn't work. You're gonna see it a lot in the tutorial That's because I was trying it, but the red ribbed pants that's gonna give us the orange Tron suit uh, The orange Tron pants so you want to make sure you have those purchased already just just so that you have everything ready to go um, So you got the red ribbed pants as well now what you're also gonna need is go ahead and go to gloves You're gonna need the light woodland tactical gloves that's when, what we're going to be using to merge the race gloves, okay? That is the merge component. So, you're going to need one more thing to buy, and it's under boots. It's the Russet Mock Toe Boots. These right there. That's what you're going to need, the Russet Mock Toe Boots. That is going to give us the race boots. That's the merge component for that. And the jacket that you're going to need is actually this one right here. I'm going to head to it right about now. Go to leather jackets. It's the black cropped biker jacket, okay? And that's the full outfit that we're going to be uh, basically making the trash man suit on, okay? So once you've purchased all those, you got them ready, go ahead and right now, I'm going to show you guys a quick way. We're going to be using the Mount Chiliad location to do the SP to MP glitch, and I'm going to be explaining it to you one time in this video. So go to your high jobs and make sure that all of them are on show, all right? Just you want them to be on show. This is a quick way to get the Mount Chiliad one done because it's so far away. So press start. Now that you have all your jobs shown, go ahead and head over to this location. As you can see right here on top of Mount Chiliad. And on any of those, I'm pretty sure any race up there, go ahead and press X. Uh, I do believe that that's square on PlayStation. Uh, play the job, launch it and everything. And then once you've launched the job, you're gonna see right here, uh, make sure you're launching it by yourself just to make it quicker. You're gonna get to the vehicle selection menu right there and just back out. Once you've backed out, you're gonna see we actually spawn right down there. So boom, we're there. We are at the Mount Chiliad location. This is the peyote that we're gonna be eating. Okay, the peyote here. Uh, some people are having trouble with the spawning uh, you know, spots over there by Los Santos Customs, so I wanted to show you the other route. I've been using this one for a little while. They both have their difficulties, but this one can be easier at times. So this is what you wanna do. Right here where these uh, poles are with the red flags on them and the little bush, uh, it's this exact location right there on the map. You want to go ahead and force a save game. All right, so I know you can save game with buying ammo. I usually just click on my outfit that I'm wearing right now. And if you see on the bottom right, you're going to see the orange uh, save icon. There we go. Once you have that done, go ahead and leave GTA Online. Once you've left GTA Online, we're going to proceed to do the SP to MP glitch. Go ahead and shoot a few rounds, get one star. I know if you kill two people, you get one star. If you want to beat people up and pull them out of their cars, you can go ahead and do that and get one star. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, I've gotten the one star, the cops are approaching. I'm gonna press pause right when my hands come up, just like that. Go ahead and press start, yeah, go to online and uh, play GTA Online and hit invite only session. Now, once we've, hit, once we've hit invite only session, it's gonna shoot us up to the clouds. Right when those ads come up right there, go to dashboard, hit go offline and come straight back to GTA. When you come straight back to GTA, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna get this message right here, it's an alert gonna say this right here connections been lost accept it 
wait two seconds, go back online to dashboard, and then count to five, go back on, boom, all right? Go back offline now. Come back, you're gonna get a black screen, come back online. And then when you come back, you're gonna get that. Now the last step, when you go online, you're basically gonna wait 25 seconds before you actually return. If you don't wait the 25 seconds, you're gonna keep getting that alert. So at the last uh, time to get to go online, you're waiting 25 seconds, okay? I went quick through that, but I have a bunch of tutorials on the SP to MP glitch, guys. I'll leave all of them in the description where I go a lot slower and a lot more thorough, but we've been doing this glitch for a while. So we're gonna spawn down as our SP character, run to the peyote, smash right on the D-pad, go to online, and go straight to swap character as fast as you can. If you don't do that fast enough, you're gonna get the error joining session, okay? So like I said, the SP to MP, I went very quickly through it. I'll leave a link down to my other videos where I went very, very slow and explained it a lot more thoroughly for you guys. But this is an outfit tutorial, so I wanted to just show you guys the SP to MP glitch once and just run through it very quickly. Okay, so now that we're at the character selection menu, you're going to go ahead and select your male character, alright? Because this is the character that we want the outfits to transfer from, okay? Uh, like I said, if you've been making merge components or anything, you need to transfer your outfits from the male over to the female. All right. So once we time out, which should be very soon, you're going to time out, just accept it, and then wait for the clouds to unfreeze. When the clouds unfreeze, Xbox, close your app. PlayStation, close your app as well. But Xbox, you guys have to delete your save game data from the console. Once you've deleted save, da save game data from the console, start up GTA. Don't let it sync. Hit stop and cancel the sync. Once you've hit stop and cancel sync, you're going to get the uh, display calibration, which you'll see uh, in a little bit. But uh, PlayStation, you guys don't have to delete save, delete save game data. All you guys have to do is close app, restart app, and then hold, I believe it's L1 and R1 uh, until you get the display calibration. So Xbox, you guys have to close app once the clouds unfreeze, press start on GTA. Once you press pause on GTA, go to manage game, go down to saved game data, go to your gamer tag, hit delete from console only. Not from everywhere, not from cloud, from console only. Start it back up and cancel and stop the sync. That's where we're at right now, Xbox. We're canceling and stopping the sync once we've started GTA again. It's gonna try to sync our data. Just stop it from happening. Once you've stopped it from happening, you've done all the hard timing parts of that glitch uh, pretty much. So once we've done that, we're gonna get this. Display calibration. PlayStation, you guys will be getting this too, holding L1 and R1. PlayStation, you guys will be able to load into um, your single player character and then you guys can go to online. For us on Xbox, we might load into the prologue. Uh, if you load into the prologue like me, you gotta close your app again. Some people don't load into the prologue. If you load in as your regular single player character, go ahead and just hit go into GTA Online, go into an invite only session. All right, so, but if you start in the prologue, you're gonna have to quit the app again. So quit the app again, start it back up, and this time let it sync, Xbox guys, all right? Let the data sync, uh, sync it from this console. It's gonna ask you where do you wanna sync it from? Hit from this console. Okay, so once you have uh, synced it from this console, pretty sure it's synced, so sync. Yeah, we're gonna say sync. Once you have synced it from this console, let it load. It's gonna go ahead and actually load you all the way into, on, or into uh, your story mode character. PlayStation and anybody who didn't have to load into the prologue, you will be at this point we're getting to right about now. So here we go. We're a single player character. You're going to go press start, go to online tab, hit play GTA online, invite only session. Once you've done that, everybody's going to get this, the game policies right there, except those game policies that I just fast forwarded through. You're going to spawn down as your female character. Now at this moment, you need to check to make sure all of your outfits transferred. Okay, so go ahead and go to your outfits and you should see. See that tutorial black? That's the outfit we're working on, the last slot. All right, that's gonna be the trash man outfit. All right, the name I know is misleading, but just look at it as tutorial. That is the outfit slot we're gonna be using to merge, okay? But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that little trick, you know, to go ahead and, uh, you know, join a race somewhere by a clothing store because we're way the hell up there on Mount Chiliad, so you don't wanna make the trip anywhere. So once you're at a clothing store, this is where you're gonna go ahead and buy stuff. Now, don't be confused at this part. I'm gonna be in Titan of a job right now. That's because me, being a dummy, I had joggers on that outfit. So I had to access the outfit and I had to do a bunch of stuff for it. You won't have invisible legs or anything like that if you didn't have joggers on that last outfit, okay? So, don't be misled. Just pretend we're in a clothing store right now, a normal one, not in Titan of a job, just in a clothing store, and this is what you wanna go ahead and put on your last slot that we're gonna be using to merge. Okay, so go ahead and go down to tuck t-shirts, 
and this is where we're going to be putting on the black classic t-shirt. This is what's going to give us the orange trash man suit, or vest I should say. So black classic, there we go. That is the trash man component. Once you've put that on, you're going to go ahead and go to boots and then put the russet mock toe boots on. That's the merge component to get the race boots on, okay? Now, once we have done that, you want to go ahead and go to your accessories and go to gloves. Put on the light woodland tactical gloves. That is our merge component for the gloves. That's going to give us the gloves. So you see, we're not in tight of a job anymore. We're just, we're in right here at a clothing store. This is where you should have been the whole time, in a clothing store, once you did the whole job thing. All right? So here we go. We're in a clothing store now, uh, right after you came back from Mount Chiliad, where you guys are at. We're all together now. Now you're going to go ahead and change the pants. So go ahead and put on the red ribbed leather pants. The red ribbed leather pants is what's going to give us the orange Tron uh, leggings, I guess, or pants, I guess you can say. But yeah, so the outfit's almost complete. Now we just have to change the jacket. The jacket we're going to be using is the black cropped biker jacket. Okay, I'll be getting to it momentarily. But uh, this is essential. You need this on. It's going to give us the checkerboard effect. But for some reason, I couldn't get any other outfit or any other jacket to merge with the uh, with the you know the biker or sorry the um, the trash man vest. Okay. So now once we've done that, go ahead and save your outfit. Once you've saved your outfit, you know I didn't actually. I don't know if I saved it right here, but you should save your outfit. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So just like this, you want to save this outfit in the last slot. As you can see, I've changed it to tutorial orange. We're all back on the same track now. I know there's a little misleading video play, but just ignore that. Once again, you don't need to join Titan of a job, nothing like that. That's only if you had joggers on, okay, which none of you should have. All right, so now once, we're, uh, once we've saved the outfit, this is the outfit that we're going to be using to merge. We need to transfer all this back over to the mail, okay. So here we go, we, uh, we swapped characters and we need to switch back to our mail so that we can go ahead and do the SP to MP, the SP to MP glitch once more. Okay, so here we go. I'm back at the swap character and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over to my mail character. All right, remember, you need to switch over to the character to do the glitch on that you want the outfits to come to, okay? So I've switched over to my mail character and now I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in. Wherever you spawn in, remember we have to go back to Mount Chiliad, so we're gonna use the race, uh, you know, the little race trick to teleport over there. So here we go. I've spawned down, I'm using the race trick to teleport over to Mount Chiliad, launching that job, backing out of the vehicle selection menu, and here we go. I'm at Mount Chiliad. So now we're gonna go ahead and force a game save right at this location again. Pretty, uh, you can go a little bit farther back into the bush, it's a little bit more accurate, but go to style. Click on the outfit that you're on or any outfit, you know, change an accessory, buy ammo, whatever you want. All of it forces a game save. So look at the bottom right to check out the orange save icon. There it is. At this point, you can go ahead and leave GTA Online and we're going to proceed to do the SP to MP glitch. I'm not going to show you how to do it again. I'm just going to fast forward through me doing the entire glitch. As you can see right here, I'll, you can do it as Franklin. I'm doing the entire glitch right here. I spawn in, eat the peyote, swap character, pick your girl character now. Remember, you're picking the girl character, so you time out just like that. And we did the whole game save data, all that stuff, okay? So now, once you spawn in as your single player character, hit go online, accept the game policies, and now we're back in as our male character. Check to make sure that your outfit's transferred over. Tutorial orange, that's the outfit I made as the girl character. It has transferred over to my male character. Okay, so now once we've done that, you've made sure that all the outfits have transferred. Uh, remember, you want to make sure the outfits have transferred. And once that is successful, you can go ahead and we're going to proceed to actually go and get the orange race gloves and race boots. All right, so from here, you can actually go ahead and press pause and, uh, and start up Tiny Racers. I know nobody plays Tiny Racers, so you will probably need a friend uh, to join you for this. If you get a random, you know, probably talk to them, let them know that you're gonna be doing this if you can. But I suggest trying to get a friend to help you out with this part. So start up Tiny Racers. Uh, I do believe any one of them is good. If you start it up, you will get the orange outfit. Shout out to my boy Wise for helping me out with this. Now on Xbox, when we spawn in, just go ahead and go to Style and open up your interaction menu, go to Style, and then go to Player Mood and just spam right on Player Mood for about 20 seconds. Okay, that's all you need. Player Mood for 20 seconds. Okay, so once you've done that for 20 seconds, 
you're gonna open up your Xbox dashboard and just sit there, all right? You just sit there for about two to three minutes and you will lag out. PlayStation, you guys can just spam and then suspend app. Uh, it's as easy as that for PlayStation. Now, Xbox, you see, we've been, uh, we got kicked for idling too long after we spammed, and that's the exact thing you wanna see. Once we're loading back down, you should load down back with the outfit, all right? That's the race boots, but we don't have the race gloves. So what you have to do is go to a clothing store and go ahead and go to gloves and scroll all the way down until you get, I believe it's around the 40s, somewhere around there, but uh, oh yeah, right there. So the race suit gloves, 42. Uh, put on the race suit gloves, they're free right there. And now you have the orange race suit gloves and boots. Now we are ready to merge. So just have that outfit on, go ahead and go to Rockstar Creative Jobs and go to Versus, and this is where you, we gotta start up Crooked Cop. Now once we started up Crooked Cop, Make sure you set it to clothing player owned. That is very important. It must be on player owned. Once you've done that, get somebody to join you. Pick a random. Shout out to Wise again for helping me out. Go down to current. Go one to the left. Boom. Once you go one to the left, that's it. The race gloves and the race boots have merged. Ready up. And once the job starts, you should spawn in looking like this. There we go. All the components have merged. We have our boots. We have our gloves. The outfit is finally coming together. All right. So it looks pretty cool so far. Uh, at this point, what you want to do is actually go to style, and I recommend putting in an earpiece. So I, if I go to gear and one to the left, I got an LCD earpiece right there that will save the outfit just like that. All right, you can put on a mask if you want, but an earpiece will work and just quit out of the job through your phone, just like you saw me do right there. Once you spawn back down, go ahead and save the outfit anywhere, clothing store, ammunition, whatever you want, just save it. All right, so there we go. We have the outfit saved. Uh, now for the finishing touch, go ahead and get the orange Tron suit on. If you haven't bought it yet, just buy it at the clothing store, and then you wanna head over to an apartment and uh, or your CEO office and be near a telescope. So put on the orange Tron suit outfit that you see right there. Now go ahead and go to the telescope and we're gonna do the glitch, all right? This is the telescope glitch, really simple to do. Run by the telescope, smash right on the D-pad, pull away and open up your interaction menu. Once you've done that, Go ahead and go to style, select the tutorial outfit that we're working on, the trash man outfit, and walk away a little bit, and you should notice, boom, just like that. You got the Tron helmet on now. Now the outfit is pretty much complete. I didn't keep going after this, but what I would recommend is to go ahead and put a duffel bag on it, but first save it so that you got the, uh, you know, the helmet saved on there. So save it, now we got the helmet on, and I'm not gonna show you guys how to get the duffel bag, but I'll leave a link down in the description on how to get a duffel bag. I have a video on that and how to transfer it over from outfit to outfit. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole glitch, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, you know, the outfit. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, put a duffel bag on it and it will complete it, but that's gonna be it for me. I'm Roll Easy. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it by hitting that blue thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button, and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope TCA5 online content. Peace out everybody and have a good day.